One question that I get a lot from my students is, how early should I start practicing tough extended response type questions before the exam? And um, you probably get this question a lot as well. And um, my answer with them is from day one. From day one, you should be doing extended response questions. Sadly, um, studying mass methods, it's a little bit like preparing yourself for the exam at the, end of the, at the end of the year, and obviously for the SACs as well, which are quite different, but still doing extended response questions still helps with them. So, I mean, the first lesson that I get my students, I'll give them an extended response question. And usually the first one that I give them isn't based on any maths methods knowledge beyond like algebra and that sort of stuff. Um, so that they at least get an idea on um, uh, how difficult it's gonna be without having prior knowledge about, you know, functions and calculus and probability and that sort of stuff. Plus we haven't learnt anything yet, but you know, it sort of gets them to put their toe in the water. And um, I even tell them, look, you're probably not gonna be able to answer it. You're probably gonna find this really, really tough. That doesn't matter. The point is that you try, and if you do it regularly, at least once a week, tempting an extended response question, you'll find that it will get a lot easier. Um, the other option is to wait until the end of the year. So you've left all this time behind where you haven't been practicing questions. So you haven't been practicing for the exam, which is, um, ultimately what you're trying to achieve very well in. So the other thing that I like to do is um, I've split extended response questions into categories so that whatever subject they're studying, I have extended response questions which will be perfect for them. Um, took quite a bit of work, but even if you get old VCAA questions and cut out the irrelevant topics, you'll find that this is a pretty useful system. So by the time they're halfway through the year, they're better prepared than a lot of other students and they feel a lot more confident as well. Um, obviously, while I'm doing all this, I'm really focusing on those fundamental concepts and understanding all the terminology and the ideas behind it. But once they get those basics, I'm like, okay, well, let's throw you into the deep end. And as I said, doesn't matter if you don't get it straight away. The important thing is that you try and you will get better at it.